Hello and welcome back uh, to our final demo video. In this video, we're going to look at problem 12-4B, uh, which will help you out with your homework problem 12-4A. So what happened here is that we have three partners who have um, various balances in their capital accounts. We could see Younger has 30,000, Bayer has 16,000, and uh, Jigger or Geiger, whatever, has uh, 10,000 in their capital account. They have a sharing ratio, five to three to two. Uh, on May 1st, the YBGE company is formed and they admitted Elderman to the firm as a partner, okay? So what's going on here? Well, if we read each of the scenarios, Elderman is buying a percentage of one of the owners, okay? So let's think about it this way. Let's say that um, uh, me and my wife are, are partners 50-50 in a business that we run, an accounting firm, and um, uh, pick on Matt. Let's say Matt wants to come join us. He wants to be a partner, and my wife meets Matt. I vouch for him, says he knows his stuff. He make a great addition to our partnership. She says, okay, well, what are we going to do? I says, well, you know what? You know I really like teaching. I want to do this full time. So uh, how about I sell Matt a portion of my equity in the firm, okay? Or a, um, uh, that's what I'm looking for here, a, um, a, 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 a stake of my partnership, okay? So that's what that's what we're doing here that that could happen right a uh, partnership can find another partner one partner might want to have less uh, ownership or maybe less uh, control in the company and they sell it to somebody else that could happen right so what happens first is elderman purchased 50 percent of ginger's or geiger's ownership interest by paying geiger four grand in cash okay so what happens here is me and my wife own 50-50, and let's just say for sake of argument that I have $10,000 in my capital account, right? My wife has $10,000 in her capital account. And we want to bring Matt in, and I say, you know what? I'll give Matt four grand, or if, I'm sorry, if Matt gives me $4,000 cash, I'll give him 50% of my ownership, okay? That cash that... Matt pays me or that Elderman pays Geiger does not go into the company, okay? So the journal entry that we need to do is actually pretty simple and pretty straightforward. What we need to do is as of, uh, what was this, May 1st, I believe? Yeah, May 1, I need to show that Elderman's capital is increasing and my capital is decreasing, okay? So, Elderman Capital is gonna be debited, or I'm sorry, let's reverse that. We're doing Geiger. Uh, Geiger Capital needs to go down, and Elderman's needs to go up. Right, so how much is he buying it for? Well, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter that cash that um, 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 Geiger and Elderman agreed on. That cash goes strictly to to Geiger. Okay, so Geiger's interest in the company is ten grand. Okay, Geiger gave Elderman half of his capital. So that's 5,000. So Geiger goes down, capital count goes down by 5,000, Elderman goes up by 5,000. Okay. Now let's look on uh, at number two. Okay. Elderman purchases 50% of uh, Bayer's ownership interest by paying Bayer uh, 10 grand in cash. Okay. It's going to be the same journal entry, right? In a sense, right? Bayer 
his capital is decreasing or her capital is decreasing. So I need to debit it and I need to credit Elderman's capital. Okay, for how much? Well, Bayer's given up 50% ownership of the company. Bayer, uh, uh, Bayer's original capital account had a value of 16,000, okay? So, what is, um, uh, what is um, elder, what's the dollar amount here? Well, it's half of Bayer's capital account, 16,000, right? Half of 16,000 is 8,000. So we're going to decrease Bayer's capital account by 8,000. We're going to increase Elderman. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to decrease Bayer's by 8,000, and we're going to credit Alderman's or Elderman's by 8,000 as well. Okay. Now the third one still happens on May 1st. Uh, Elderman invests 29 grand cash in a partnership for a 40% interest that includes a bonus to the new partners, okay? So what we need to show is that cash is going into the company here, right? Because what's the difference between the first two and the third one? Well, the first two, two owners got together and the owner said, you give me personal cash, I'll give you X amount of um, a percentage of my capital, okay? That's what happened in one and two. Three saying, nope, Elderman's investing twenty nine dollars or twenty nine grand cash in the uh, in the partnership. He's getting forty percent ownership interest in that company, and then there's going to be um, a bonus to the um, um, to the owners. Okay, to the other owners. So we need to figure out how that works. Well, we're definitely going to hit cash, right? Because cash is going into the company, okay? All the owner's capital are going to be affected by this, right? Because they're getting a bonus, okay? So we have younger We have Bayer Capital. Sorry, it should be Younger Capital. Uh, who else do we have here? Uh, Geiger. And capital sorry and we also have uh, Elderman okay now we need to figure out what is the total amount of the capital that exists in a partnership so this is not very straightforward right we have to do some calculations here we know that the cash going in is $29,000. We know that. Okay, that's easy. But now we got to figure out how this 29,000 is going to be allocated to Alderman and what that bonus is for the um the current owners, right? Or the current partners. So the first thing we need to do, now I'm going to do my calculation down here. Okay, yes, it's going to be in the uh, in the journal. Um, so debits and credits don't matter right here because I'm just doing my uh, calculation. I'm going to put another one in there just to make sure I have enough room. Okay, perfect. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out or attempt to figure out uh, what is the total capital of existing partners. Okay, so that's easy to 
Turtle Capital, existing partners. Well, let's think about this. Young has 30, um, Bayer has 29, Ginger has uh, 10, okay? So equals 30,000 plus 16,000 plus 10,000, okay? There's a total of $56,000, right? Now, we have the um, investment um, that Elderman made. Okay, and we know from the problem that Elderman invested $29,000 in cash. Okay, so that gives us a total sugar. Sorry about that. Uh, gives us a total of eighty-five thousand dollars. Okay, so now we need to figure out. And bear with me here. Actually, let's just do this. So the next, so this is the, this eighty-five thousand is total capital of the new partnership. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to figure out what is Elderman's portion. or Elder, uh, Elderman's capital account or his capital credit, what's it gonna be? Well, that's easy for us to figure out because we know how much he put in, right? Um, he put in um, $29,000. There originally was $56,000 of capital. So the total capital in this new partnership is 85,000. So I'm gonna take $85,000 and I'm gonna multiply that by his percentage, or her percentage, which is 40% of the company, or 40% interest in the company. So I'm gonna multiply that by 40%. $34,000, so Elderman's capital right now is going to be $34,000, okay? So, now that we have Elderman's um, amount, right, we need to figure out what is the, um, the bonus to the old partners, right? What are the old partners getting, okay? Well, let's think about that. How much are they getting? Well, if we take the total capital invested, which equals the 56,000, we then need to um, or actually, I apologize. <clears throat> we take the investment by new partner, which we know is $29,000, okay? We then need to figure out what's Terrell's capital credit, right? We already figured, or I'm sorry, why am I saying Terrell? I keep looking at problem A. Um, <coughs> problem B, what we're working on, we have Elderman, this is the person that is entering the partnership. We need to take into account how much um, we credited Elderman's capital. So I'll say Elderman capital credit, uh, which we said was $34,000. If we subtract the two,
we end up with $5,000, okay? Guess what? This is the bonus that everybody's getting, okay? This is the bonus, right? This is the bonus to old partners. Now, I know it's in the negative, okay? That's okay, right? Since they're adding in a new partner at 40%, that means that each of these partners are giving up a percentage of their ownership in this partnership, okay? So let's figure out how we do this, right? Younger. We know Younger has 50%, um, uh, uh, 5, 3, and 2, okay? So we're going to take that uh, negative $5,000 and then we're going to multiply it by five tenths. Same thing with Bayer. We're going to take that negative $5,000 and we're going to multiply it by three tenths. And the same thing for uh, Geiger. He's taken the two percent or two tenths rather. negative five thousand dollars times two tenths now since their capital count is going down right debits and credits always have to equal so I'm gonna say equals five thousand dollars times five tenths I get twenty five hundred um, Bayer capital it's gonna be the same thing right same calculation five thousand dollars times Three tenths, and the same thing for uh, Geiger. We're going to take that five thousand dollars, and we're going to multiply it by two tenths. Okay, so do my debits and credits equal now? Yep, they sure do. Thirty-four thousand dollars. The owner contributed cash. The other partners gave uh, gave up some of their capital to bring in this new uh, partner. And here, my friends, is the calculation to do that. Okay, there's the calculation. Now, let's look at number four. I'm going to scroll down a little bit to number four. Number four, what happens? Well, Elderman invests 24 grand in the partnership for. 20% ownership interest and bonuses are given to the old partners. Okay, cool. We can do that. That's 4A. 4B says uh, buyer's capital balance is 25 grand after admitting Elderman to the partnership by investment. If Bayer's ownership interest is 25% of total partnership capital, what were one? Elderman's cash uh, investment and two, the total bonus to the old partners. So we can do this, right? Part B is identical for the most part of what we're going to do in 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 uh, number four or four A. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to figure out what the cash is that he contrib or that uh, Elderman contributes, how that impacts the the new total capital, and then figure out what the uh, the new partner's capital should be and then finally what the bonuses should be, okay? Super easy, right? Might not seem like it, but I promise you it is. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Come down here and do that. I'm just setting, I'm just trying to set everything up is all I'm trying to do here. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same same journal entry for the most part, right? We need to figure out how much cash is going in. We need to then figure out um, what our capital accounts are. So I'm just gonna list everything here, right? Younger capital. Bayer Capital, Gingerbread 
Messenger Capital and Elderman Capital. Okay, so pretty easy for us to do, right? We come down here and we're going to look at our calculation, right? So we know that the uh, total capital account existing is 56000 That did not change. Elderman's investment did change. We're now giving twenty four grand. Okay, that gives us a total of eighty thousand dollars. Now we need to figure out what is Elderman's capital account. Meaning, he's given twenty four thousand dollars into the partnership. What fraction of um, capital goes into his capital account, or what fraction of capital or ownership stake does he have in the partnership. So we're going to take the entire total capital of the new partnership, which is 80 grand, and we're going to multiply it by $20,000. Okay. So if we do that, we get $16,000. So that's Elderman's investment. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take the investment by the new partner. The new partner put in $24,000. <coughs> Elderman's capital credit, <coughs> excuse me, is $16,000. When we take the difference between these two, the bonus to old partners is $8,000. Super easy, okay? So let's go back to our journal entry here, right? What are we doing? Well, how much cash is going into the partnership? $24,000 cash is going into the partnership, right? What is Elderman's capital balance going to be now? Well, it's going to be $16,000, okay? So now we have a positive bonus, right? He put in X amount of cash, specifically uh, $24,000. That $24,000 earned him 20% interest in the company or 20% interest in this new partnership which is $16,000. The difference between the two, that 8,000, that's how we um, that's the bonus to the old partners. So the old partners interest or the their their interest in the partnership increases, okay? So, to figure that out, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this time 8,000 times point Five. For Bayer, I'm going to take 8,000 times, uh, what is it, 3 tenths? Yeah, times 3 tenths. And I'm going to do the same thing for uh, Geiger. 8,000 times 2 tenths. Okay, so now I have, uh, I need to figure out how much your capital accounts go up, right? 8,000 times 0.5 gives me four grand. 8,000 times three tenths gives me 2,400. And 8,000 times 0.2, oh, eh, 0.2 will work. equals okay so now if I add all these up my credits equal my debits okay so I need to make sure that this is in proper form I'm just gonna indent all my credits and there we go okay that's the uh, journal entry for uh, B or I'm sorry for for number four okay uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to look at Part B.